Okay, I literally just pressed record, and if you can see right over here, a little deer just decided to walk up and eat. They do walk past this window here, which is like the dining room nook, um, but I didn't think that they were going to walk up right now. It's normally in the evening time. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a sit-down thrift haul. I went out yesterday morning. I went to a garage sale, an estate sale, and a bunch of thrift stores, and I found some great things. I also have some stuff that I got a few days and I'm so excited to share them with you. Okay, so I like to go store by store. I know that doesn't matter to y'all, but it helps me remember stuff. So I'm gonna start with the first store. This was a few days ago that I found this stuff. I saw this thing, it's just a galvanized little planter. Wasn't really interested in it, but then I saw this inside has a really pretty bright green flower frog, and it was only $1.50. I thought it was maybe glued in there, but when I got home, I can just pull it right off. I think that's actually like a putty or a tacky. Um, this I don't really like, so I'll probably just donate that back. But I love the little flower frog. I have another one like this that's in a darker, more sage green, and it's a little smaller. This says Vogue. Pasadena, California, Eagle MFG. So I don't know if this one is vintage or not, but I do like it. And $1.50, that's a great price for a flower frog like this. I am thinking about spray painting it black though, cause this bright green, um, I feel like would really limit me to maybe just like springtime or summer, but I don't really like this bright of a green. So I'll probably just spray paint it black, but that is the first thing. And then these, I found two hangers. Um, this one is just like a standard wood hanger with the metal hanger. Um, I always find hangers like this at this specific thrift store and I like to use them upstairs on the peg rail in the bedroom. I think they're a quarter a piece. So there's this one, it has a name over here, right there. And then this one is my favorite. It's so simple, like it looks like a little DIY hanger, but it has these little clothes pins and I think this is gonna be so cute to hang. Um, if I can find one of those antique, like white linen christening gowns that people hang all over their house and they're so pretty, this would look so cute holding one. But for some reason, this reminds me of, have you, if you've ever watched the show, Anne with an E on Netflix, it's about like Anne of Green Gables. The way that their farmhouse is like decorated in the show, this just, I feel like this is something that would be in there. And I love it, I think it's so cute. So this was also a quarter. And then I found this, which I love. It's like this double oval frame. It was $2 and it just has the most gorgeous detail in the metal here. So I'm so excited to put something in there. I don't know if I should do little silhouettes or maybe like some bird botanicals um, on each side or if I could find some really pretty like small antique photos to go in there, that would be cute as well, but this I'm so excited about this. I hardly ever find things that look like this. Um, I have like maybe one other. And then y'all, I've never found a rug beater at a thrift store before. So when I saw this on the shelf, I died. It was $6. I have one other rug beater. It's a uh, shaped a little different and it's a little bigger. I purchased it at an antique store, maybe like a year or so ago. And I paid almost 20 bucks, I think for it. So if you have one of these, you know that they can go for higher at an antique store. So um, I can't believe they had it priced at $6 because this one does have an antique section, which it was not in. But I think it is so cool. I can't wait to hang it next to the other one. I'm probably gonna put it on that wall over there. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a little clip of this. And don't hate me, but it was kind of like this color green, like the flower frog. It was maybe a little darker and it was like faded. And while I think that's so beautiful, I loved it. You can still kind of see the green on there. I did sand it off because I just wanted to go well with like the neutrals in the house and the other ones would as well. And I just felt like if I left it green, I wouldn't want to see it up there all year round. And I want to be able to leave these up. So like I said, I know a lot of you are going to be mad at me about that because I get mad about stuff like that too. I'm sorry. I know I ruined it. It did say Batwing something. It was by the company called Batwing. I did look that up and these are selling for about 20 to 40 bucks. And then the last thing I got from that store was this suitcase. Super old and busted up. 
but y'all know I love that. This was $8. It's a, I'm pretty sure this is black. Um, I do have one about the same size in a dark navy, and I love using it upstairs in the bedroom. I have a little white one as well, um, but I think I'm gonna pair this one with the navy one and stack them down here on the first floor. That was weird, in the living room. And it could be fun to kind of collect a few more to have a nice stack of vintage suitcases. It's coming apart in a few spots and you can see that it's pretty messed up, but I love that. It gives it that old, who knows where this has been, you know? And I love to think about who was carrying it. The inside looks fine. I'm not gonna open it because I haven't cleaned it yet. And it it's not dirty, it's just, you know, it needs to be cleaned out because it doesn't smell the best. Okay, and then from another store, um, I walked through it. I didn't find anything that I, well, I saw things I liked. I just didn't see anything that I wanted to pay for. And then I checked out their vintage books. They have like a small section and they had a few Bibles. And I found this one, which you know I collect vintage or antique Bibles. I have a smaller collection. So I'm trying to grow that. And I saw this one and then I saw that their Bibles were free. So. I felt bad. I didn't want to just walk up and be like, here, I have this free Bible, I'm leaving. So I decided to circle the store one more time and try to find something, which I did. I'll show you in just a second. But this has writing in here. I don't know what it says. That's hard for me to read if you want to pause it. And this one does not have a copyright date, but it looks identical to one that I already have. Um, I think the pages are just a little brighter and it's a tad bigger so maybe this is from like the mid-century sometime but it's just a really pretty vintage bible that i love and then this is the item that i went back around and decided to buy so i've been liking the bird cages that i've seen at hobby lobby i posted a few videos back when i did the entryway i went by hobby lobby and i showed y'all like snippets of things that i really liked and there were some bird cages in there but this one, well, when I saw it, it looked like the tag said $12. So I was like, okay, I'll pay $12 for it. That's cheaper than at Hobby Lobby, and then I'll get the Bible. But when I got up there, she said it was 15. I guess the two looked like a five, or the five looked like a two. And I'm the type of person where I'm not gonna be like, mm, never mind. I felt awkward, so I just paid 15 for this, which it's only a few dollars more than 12, but it still feels so much higher. But I do like it. It is just a cute little bird cage. I'm not sure if this is vintage or modern has this little hanger here which I probably won't hang it I'll just set it up somewhere um, I'm not sure how I can style it I've seen people put books inside of it and I like that a lot or of course just greenery but if you have any ideas on cool like different things to do inside bird cages let me know I actually have two items that I got at the antique store or the antique mall the other day so I'm going to show you all those really quick I caught these, two of these little apple stems. I was hoping they were pears. There's this picture um, that I have pinned on Pinterest. I think it's by Liz Marie Galvin. And I wanna say it was like a fall display on her mantle she did. And she had, I'll pop up a picture here. She had these really beautiful faux pear like stems like this. And I've always thought those were so pretty. I've Googled them, I can't find anything like it. So who knows where she got hers and how much they were. But when I saw these little apples, that's what, I thought of and I thought they were pretty cute so these could look good in maybe like an early fall display or even summer um, I just have to find some really cool vases or vessels to put them in so I got two of those and then I didn't mean for that antique trip to be apple themed that was not planned at all but I saw this little wicker apple it has this this is actually metal I think cute leaf at the top and if any of you remember how upset I was about that pear basket that they wouldn't sell me sorry if I'm making noise on here they wouldn't sell me that pear basket at the thrift store because it didn't have a price on it when I saw this that's what I thought of so it's not a pear it's not a basket but it still had that same kind of look so I went ahead and got it I think I'll put this out as well for like early fall when I pull out the pears and like maybe some fruit art, I don't know. But yeah, I thought it was so cute. So now I have some apple things, which is so weird because fruit is not something that I've ever been interested in, like the fruit themed things, so. Okay, moving on to the things that I found yesterday morning when I was out. I saw a um, garage sale on Facebook Marketplace the night before, and it looked like they had a ton of vintage, like a dealer or uh, someone that had had a booth was just selling off all their stuff. 
and they put that they were putting it for like dirt cheap. So I got up really early, I went over there, and I'll have to insert a clip of the first thing I got there because it's way too heavy and it's a mirror. But I found this beautiful antique mirror that has the chain that you hang it from. I'm in love with it. It was only $10. And if you've been to an antique store, antique malls, and you've seen these around, I've never seen them for under $90. So I snagged that so fast. I actually have another one that's a little bigger. It has like some different details on it that you may remember from our bedroom. That's where we hang it above the dresser. So that is probably one of the best finds that I found yesterday. And then the only other thing I got there were these two little um, brass birds. I think these are quails. I'm not positive, but I have been wanting to find the bigger version of these for quite some time now, but they're, they're always way too pricey when I see them. So I saw these tiny little ones and she gave them to me for $2 and I just think they're adorable. Actually, you should see a Thrift With Me video coming up where I found something similar at a Goodwill. After that, I went to an estate sale. They didn't have a ton of things that I was interested in, but I saw a couple things in the photos that um, I liked enough to want to stop by. One of them being this little gold clock. It's not necessarily little, but I've been wanting a clock like this. And I want an antique one, but they're pretty expensive and I just can't find one that I like because I like this style. I'm not sure if this is vintage or not, but it says made in Brazil on the back. I really don't even know how to make this thing work, y'all. I know nothing about clocks, but it was only $3. I'm thinking about going over it with some European gold rub and buff just because it is pretty shiny. And you know, I like things to be a little more tarnished, but I thought that was cute and a good deal for $3. I saw this little paintbrush. <laughs> I do have a vintage one that's black, looks pretty much just like this. It has paint all over it and I love to stick it in little faces or ironstone pieces. So I picked this up to kind of um, match with that and it didn't have a price on it. So he gave it to me for free. It's just a paintbrush, but I like how chunky it is and it, it's just pretty. And then the last thing I got at the estate sale, this thing is huge. Look at this, ginormous. I don't even know what this is, just wall art. If you remember, I found a little one almost just like it with the sailboats on it. But I thought this thing was so cool. It was $12. The back says Lombard C and A L T England. So I'm thinking about reselling it, but I kind of want to see if I could style it somewhere because I've been loving the sailboat thing. Um, I thought maybe on the mantle to do like a cool sailboat themed mantle display because let me just show you the next thing I got this that I picked up yesterday from an online auction this giant picture of a sailboat I think it is so beautiful actually when I picked it up I had no idea that it's from it's like a lithograph of Galveston the Alyssa a sailboat I guess out there <laughs> so wouldn't this look so pretty on the mantle like in the center of the mantle or with a mirror layered behind it or something. Okay, I have three more items to share with you. This is from a thrift store. If you're in my area, it's called Unique Resell. It's pretty hidden. Um, but I was talking to the lady when I was in there and she was asking if I'd been there before and if I was aware of what they do, which I am. They're ran by the community center, which is attached to the thrift store and they help people out. They give them free food, clothing, toiletries, anything they need. I've been in there multiple times when I've seen women in there um, and they're just piling things up that they need. So when I see things that I like there, even if it's priced a little higher, that always gives me peace of mind. Like, oh, well, I'm paying a little more for this, but it's going to, you know, a good place. So it's called Unique Resale. If you're in the downtown Conroe area, Google it. You can look it up on the maps and you should be able to find it. It's a really small thrift store, but it's hidden. So I feel like a lot of people don't know about it. But the first thing I got were these napkins. They're like this really pretty beigey, sandy color. They were only 79 cents for four of them. But I wanna use them just in the kitchen to drape over the oven and then in different spots because we can use them but they're still like aesthetically pleasing and they match the things that I like. And then I could also use them in a display on the table if I do like a tablescape. But 79 cents, that's a really, really good price. And they have this little like um, cutout detail around the edges. Let's see what brand they are. Danica, made in India. 
Okay, and then the next thing I got was this antique photo. I have never seen an antique photo at a thrift store before, only antique stores. It was $4.50, and I thought that was a fine price. This little girl is so cute. It says Joe Kamla, age 12. I think she's beautiful. Um, I'm not really sure why she's wearing that. I hope she wasn't getting married, and if she was, I don't want to think about it. But look at that chair that she's sitting on. It's so pretty, and then the flowers. I can't wait to decorate with this. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it, but I was so excited to get that. And then the last item I got was this beautiful copper teapot. I've been looking for one of these. I've been waiting to find one that I really love. A lot of times they have like a handle that I don't like, or the copper's too new looking or shiny. And this one has the perfect amount of patina. And then it has these little like porcelain knobs, which I've never seen before either. I don't know if this is focusing. This you can actually pull off. And then I don't like the blue and white thing, but the detail's so small that it, that doesn't bother me. And it was only $9.99. I feel like that is a really good price. I've never seen one at a thrift store. Even Goodwill would be probably way more than $9.99. So finally got myself a copper teapot to put on the stove when I use my copper pieces in the fall time. All right, that is everything that I have to share with you in today's haul. I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get decorating videos up. It's just taking me a lot longer to unpack than I thought and, you know, plus other stuff's going on and I just feel like it keeps getting pushed back. But hopefully I can get it up for, you know, early summer coming up soon and you'll, you can see how I've styled some of these pieces. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.